Hey everyone. Welcome back to Vony Movies Recap. Today I will show you, a 2010 Korean drama thriller film, titled The Housemaid. Spoilers ahead, and enjoy the video. The film starts at a busy city street where a young woman dies by jumping from a building at a nearby restaurant. Yuni arrives with her co-worker and roommate to work at the restaurant. After completing their work, Yoon Yi and her friend drive to the scene where the girl died. Earlier there they see the chalk outline, where the woman's body had lain. The next morning an old woman named, Vyongshik goes to Yuni's apartment to see how she lives, as she is looking to hire a full-time housemaid for a wealthy couple. After seeing Yoon Yi's lifestyle Yang Sik decides to hire Yun Yi, so Yoon Yi soon leaves to live with the couple, there she meets the wife Hei Ra, who is pregnant with twins. She welcomes Yun Yi and directs Beyond Sik to show Yuni her room. Yang Sik is also a housemaid, who has been looking after Hei Ross. Since she was a child soon after settling in Yuni begins doing all the household work. The next morning she meets the couple's young daughter, Nami who returns from her school. Since Yuni's job is also to take care of Nami, she tries to connect with her later. That night while having dinner Nami tells her mother that she likes Yun Yi, and would like her to stay. Afterwards he owns Sik and Yoon eat the leftovers from the table. Sometime later the husband Hoon arrives home, after introducing himself to Yun Yi. He asks Yang Sik to pour him some drink. After pouring the drink Vyong Shik tells Yun Yi to take it to the couple's room. The couple is impressed with Yun Yi's hard work and decides to hire her permanently after working all day Yi is finally able to get some rest, and is completely tired, as this is her first time working as a live in housemate. The next morning Yang Shik and Yun Yi prepare breakfast for the couple Yun Yi, then takes the tray of food to Hoon who's playing the piano. Yun Yi can't help herself but watch him playing the piano beautifully. Afterwards the family says goodbye to Hoon, who leaves for work Yun Yi has now fully become a member of the family and helps. Hey Ra shower do her nails and so on. Later that night Hoon arrives home and heads to the bathroom to shower, but finds Yuni cleaning the bathtub. After staring at her for a while he signals, her to leave one night Hoon and Hei Ra try to have an injection game, but are unable to do, so because of Hei Ra's pregnancy despite numerous attempts, Hoon is not satisfied and is frustrated, so when Hei Ra falls asleep Hoon comes downstairs and sees you, and Yi in her bed she covers herself with a blanket, but Hoon tells her to be silent and gives her a glass of wine. He then tells her to remove the blanket, which she hesitantly does after staring at her he starts touching her all over her body, Yumi doesn't stop him as she too is getting aroused by him. While everyone in the house is asleep Yoon Yi and Hoon have injection game all night. The next day Yoon Yi continue doing all her household work and help Hera, who is completely unaware of her. Husband's affair at day Yoon Yi is just a housemaid, who works for the couple, but at night she becomes a romantic partner of Hoon, who longs to satisfy his desires. Yoon Yi has also befriended Nami and would tell her stories every day before going to sleep. One night Hoon returns home from work and gives Yoon Yi a bonus for working hard, Sik feels something is wrong and begins to suspect. Yoon Yi as Hoon is becoming too generous towards her, so later that night she goes to Yoon Yi's room to spy on her and catches her mating with Hoon, but instead of confronting her young Sik pretends not to know anything about the affair and tells you, and you to take food to Hoon like every day. After taking the food Yoon Yi who is wearing some makeup, goes close to Hoon who is playing the piano and smiles at him Hoon is happy with Yoon Yi, and gives her a check as a reward despite, the affair Yoon Yi is still warm and friendly to Hei Ra, and even expresses enthusiasm and then delight at the progress of her pregnancy, but Beyonce cannot hold herself anymore, and one night she confronts Yun Yi about the sudden change in her, she tries to pry the truth out of Yun Yi, but Yoon Yi casually brushes her off saying, that she is still the same since Yun Yi isn't revealing, 
Her affair with Hoon Vyongshik goes to meet Hera's mother Mihi and reveals to her about Yunyi's affair with Hoon. She also suspects that Yunyi is pregnant with Hoon's child, so Mighty decides to visit the family and stage an accident to find whether Yunyi is really pregnant or not. One day, Yun Yi climbs on a ladder on the stairs to clean the chandelier. He comes there and intentionally trips, causing Yun Yi to fall from the ladder. Yuni somehow manages to dangle from the chandelier and begs Mihi to pull her over the railing. But Mihi doesn't help her because of which Yunyi falls on the floor. Luckily she only gets a concussion, and will have to spend the night at the hospital. During the checkup, the doctors also perform a pregnancy test on Yuni, and learn that she indeed is pregnant. Mi goes to Hera and reveals to her that Hoon is not an honest husband, and is having an affair with Yunyi who is now pregnant with his child. Mi tells her to leave him and come with her, but Hei Ra refuses to leave her. Husband back at the hospital Yuni learns about her pregnancy. Her friend advises her not to return to the mansion and go for an abortion meanwhile. Mi tells Hei Ron to ignore the affair and pretend, as if nothing happened, but soon after recovering from the concussion Yun Yi returns to the mansion thinking that no one knows about her affair or pregnancy. Hoon is away on a business trip and isn't home Hei Ra is furious by Yuni's return and cannot hold her anger anymore. So later that night she goes to Yun Yi's bedroom to kill Yun Yi using a golf club, but is unable to do. So the next day she confronts Yuni about her affair with her husband, and slaps her repeatedly Yun Yi tearfully apologizes, and begs for forgiveness Hei Ra and her mother offer 100 million won to Yun Yi for aborting her baby, and leave for good although, Yun Yi accepts their offer. Hei Ra knows that Yuni is not going to abort her baby for money, so easily after seeing Yun Yi bullied by Hera and her mother Yang Sik has a change of heart, and tells Yun Yi not to leave not until she gets proper closure with whom Yun Di struggles to decide whether to abort, the child or not sometime later Nami comes to talk to Yun Yi Nami, now shares everything with Yun Yi who has become a mother-like figure for Nami, after talking to Nami Yun Yi develops a kind of urge to raise a child like her, and decides to keep the baby, so Hei Ra decides to take matters into her own hands and poisons, the herbal medicine packets that Yun Yi drinks every day. One day Hei Ra and Nami leave for the hospital as Hei Ra is about to give birth to twins, Hoon returns from his business trip and is excited to become a father again. After giving birth to twins, Hoon and Hei Ra take pictures with the twins, Hoon happily kisses Hera, but she doesn't kiss him back which frustrates Soon. Later that night Yun Yi drinks the herbal medicine packets and is slowly getting affected by the poison sometime. Later an angry Hoon returns home and finds Yun Yi in his bathtub. Hoon is happy to see her in his mood lightens Yun Yi reveals to Hoon that she is pregnant and plans on keeping the baby. Hoon is stunned to learn about the pregnancy and doesn't know what to say. The poison starts showing its effect and Yun Yi becomes sick, so she is rushed to the hospital where Mihi arranges an abortion without Yun Yi's consent the sick watches the entire operation in horror, and is helpless as she can't do anything to help you, and Yi after the operation Vyongshik reveals to you, Ni that she was the one who told me about Yun Yi's pregnancy, she apologizes to Yun Yi for revealing her affair with whom, as she never imagined that things would turn out this way. She tells Union to move on and try to live a happy life, but Unique can no longer return to her normal life, as she has lost the will to live whereas Hoon and Hei Ra reconcile, and decide to move on and start afresh. After recovering from the abortion Yun Yi returns to her friend's apartment and tries to move on in life but is unable to forgive the couple for ruining her life, so she decides to take revenge on the family and drives to their mansion with the help of Byungshik. Yun Yi manages to sneak inside the house, and breastfeeds one of the twins Hoon comes there and is stunned to see Yun Yi there. He manages to get hold of the twins and tells Yun Yi to leave, but Yun Yi is no longer the same person, she used to be the trauma of losing a child has twisted her mind. Afterwards the entire family scold and humiliate beyond sick for letting Yun Yi in and order her to chase Yun Yao, but Beyond Sick has enough of humiliation and quits the job on spot just then Yin Yi comes there and confronts the entire family. She tells Nami to be a good girl and to pursue her dreams. She then hangs herself from the same chandelier, 
she wants clung to and then lights her body on fire. The family watches in horror as Yun Yi burns alive to death. The family quickly escape from the mansion and get to safety. Nami watches her mother-like figure burn to death and can't do anything to help her. Time passes by and the family moved to a new place. They are celebrating Nami's birthday and all are speaking English they have hired new housemates and seem to have completely forgotten the incident. As Hei Ross sings happy birthday Hoon hands a glass of champagne to Nami. She then walks some distance and watches something far away. In the end, if you like this video, please press like and subscribe to help the channel and turn on the notification. Thanks for watching.